Dr. Alan Christensen here. You ever feel tired or stressed out? You ever heard about your adrenal glands? You know, funny thing is that an awful lot of our apparatus that we get through our lives with was adapted for a very different type of world than we live in today. You've heard about the fight or flight response. So our adrenal glands, they, they govern that. They help us fight or run away from danger. The problem is that that mechanism was a good thing when the issues we faced really were appropriate to fight or run away from. In the modern world, we face difficult stressors all the time. And they're things that don't have a definite start and stop, and they're not things that are appropriate to fight or physically run away from in the vast majority of cases. Yet our adrenal glands don't really have any different tricks. <laughs> so when we get stressed out, the exact same things happen inside of our bodies that would happen if we were being chased by a tiger. You know, things that go on between our ears that don't put us in physical danger, no matter how compelling they are, relationships, deadlines, finance issues, they're things that we respond to as if they were immediate physical threats. What happens is our adrenal glands, the mechanisms that manage that, they get pretty tired. <laughs> they're not made to be in full on red alert all day and all night. So at some point they can make the wrong hormones at the wrong time or too little of the hormones. That leads to insomnia, that leads to fatigue. And that can also be a big trigger for easy weight gain. And of course, that can also create anxiety and mood symptoms. You know, if you're not sleeping and you're tired, you're not going to feel well and you certainly won't be happy. The tough part is that conventional medicine only recognizes the most severe forms of adrenal disease, the extreme deficiencies or the extreme through the roof types of excess. But what we get today is neither of those, but what does happen is, we make the wrong hormones at the wrong time. So with chronic issues like this and, and these types of symptoms, it's critical to really understand the depth of our adrenal health. And the nice thing is that, like so many parts of our body, these glands can heal. And once they do, we can really get back our lives again and not have to be tied up in an ongoing fight or flight state.